Post your spooky experiences, I'll start. Be me. 15. Playing video games late into the night because it's spring break. Thirsty as hell, decide to get a drink. Go downstairs and see all three of our cats staring up at the same spot on the ceiling. Kinda weird but think nothing off it. Grab glass of water. About to go back upstairs when I get a weird twisting feeling in my stomach. Decide to ignore it and open the kitchen door to all three of my cats still staring at the same empty spot on the ceiling. Walk past them and feel a hand caressing the right side of my torso. Turn around to see what the hell touched me. All three cats are turned around looking right at me. Run upstairs and nearly shit my britches. Grandpa visited me in a dream after he died. Grandpa was really sick all the time in 2023. I was prepared for him to die any day. Few months ago he was taken into a hospital again. Mother says doctor recommended hospice. After a week I see a dream in the morning where grandpa comes by at my apartment. Says his goodbyes and all that. Wake up thinking he is dead. Receive text from father that grandpa is dead. He was a good guy, am sad he had to live in suffering for a while and that I wasn't there when he passed. Not a big story, but probably around 15 years ago I was in bed, cuddled up, and talking with this girl, when I knocked on the headboard mimicking someone knocking at the door, and right after something basically knocked back the same way I did. We thought it was weird, but we were kinda more into each other's company and talked about it only for a minute, before moving on. I still think about it though, because it wasn't her and I have no idea what else could have made the sound, as nothing else even makes sense. Late at night. Small village in Eastern Europe. Lots of scary stories floating around, people hearing screams in the local forests, etc. Go out into the woods alone. There stands a small Soviet-era brick building in the middle of the forest. All ruined and overgrown. Half of it submerged underground. Local people spoke rumors about it being an old crematorium. Very quiet. Walk around the building, there is a large hole in one of the walls. See nothing strange. Don't hear any odd noise. Walk in, there is nothing other than garbage. Nothing happens. Go back home. Nothing interesting happened that day. I am completely indifferent to this situation. My mom says this happened when I was still a toddler. I don't remember it so I'll keep it short. New house. Just me and mom. She starts hearing weird sounds at night. Sounds get worse over time. Mom starts witnessing things moving in the house. Walks into the kitchen once and sees the cupboard door opening slowly before slamming shut. Another one, mom's in her room, at her desk. She leaves the room for a minute and comes back to find her. Desk drawers all open and papers on the floor. Mom is getting spooked. All of this culminates in a spooky experience that forces mom to move houses. It's basically this, she's at her desk, working. Hears footsteps leave her room. Mom feels panic, turns around and no one is there. Hears me scream in my room down the hall. Mom books it and finds me in my room screaming. This next part she swears is true. She sees a huge black figure in the room with me. The figure looks kind of like black smoke, only more solid. It's moving oddly along the walls. Instinct kicks in. Mom rushes in, scoops me up and runs out of the house. We stay at my grandparents from then on. Eventually sell the house and move. No more experiences. Had a dream that my neighbor died, first person view, everything with yellow tint and felt sticky. I keep moving forward to the person that sits by the table. I have a feeling he is dead. Wake up. Go outside, see neighbor alive with his daughter. Thank God that was just a dream. Come back few hours later. Police knock on the door, neighbor got murdered. I am not living in some first world shithole, 
and people being murdered are rare and my neighbor was an alcoholic, but no valid reason to murder a guy and for me to have a dream about it. Craziest thing that I've ever seen happen when I was in my early teens. Won't bother formatting the story in green text because I slept like shit and I'm tired. For context, I live in southern Brazil and this happened in the early 2010s. Part of our family lived in the same state as us, but in a small city by the sea some 100 kilometers away from our town, so it was quite common for my parents to drag me there to spend the weekend with the whole family every now and then, which was fun looking back. On one of those trips, we ended staying a bit too late in there due to a heavy storm suddenly hitting our side of the state. Dad decided that we would hit the road by midnight so he could avoid traffic. I should have been asleep by then, but somehow I was still awake. Mom was awake and talking with my old man while the radio was turned on in a low volume just to make sure Dad wouldn't fall asleep while driving. I was in the backseat, and while trying to distract myself, I decided to check the forest that covered both sides the runway during the first leg of the trip. After a few minutes, I saw something, bipedal, with really long arms, that would run in all fours for a bit every now and then, big yellow eyes, skinny, long hair, running alongside the road, on our right. It wasn't exactly side by side with the car, but it was still keeping up even though the car's speed was around 80 kilometers per hour. I started freaking out, since it kept up for almost 15 minutes, to the point I stopped looking at it and saying to myself it's all in my head, until I saw the end of the forest in sight. When the car went past the last bit of the forest, something, which I suppose it was the thing, yelled out a distant, but still chilling guttural scream, like something was being killed. I didn't sleep the entire other day, and when I managed to fall asleep the weeks after, it wouldn't be for long since I would hear the scream again in my head and wake up on the spot with a cold sweat and no way to fall back to sleep. Years later I asked my parents about that night, and both denied seeing or hearing anything out of the ordinary, but the way they looked at each other before telling me that the trip was normal makes me think they are lying. This happened a few months ago. Be me. Want to go hiking. Hiking trail on the edge of my city in the hills. Area has a history of occult stuff. Go on my own. Trail is eerily quiet, no animal sounds or anything. Reach summit of the hill that the trail is on. On the summit is a lodge where all the occult stuff happened. Go inside. Damp and cold. Hear wooden floors creaking. Building is entirely stone. Get creeped out. Decide to go home. Develop Bell's palsy that day. Become very depressed out of nowhere for a good while. I think that was a warning to not go there again. A few years ago I was having trouble sleeping so decided to go out for a bicycle ride at around 2 am. I decided to ride through an industrial area by a warehouse I used to work at. As I'm coming up to it I look over to the left and see a black man in a black coat and black baseball cap with a black dog on a chain leash with a spiked collar. Hess just standing there still in the parking lot, and he looks right at me as I pass but says nothing. This parking lot was pitch dark as it was the back of the building. I worked in that warehouse for years but they never had a security guard. Which was the only logical reason I could think he would be there. This place was a good 4 or 5 kilometers from any residential area so it would be a pretty long walk to take a dog on. It was very unsettling and I still think about it when I'm out riding in the early mornings. Definitely a WTF moment that gave me the creeps. Be me. 20. Important group exam due to Friday. Panic attack. PNG. Nobody to rely on or vent to. Friends are kinda shitty. Family being family. Group is useless but at least the grades are done individually. God definitely won't answer. Idea. Been getting into reading grimories on the subway a month before. Best friend has a 3D printer. Put on an order to make me an amulet with the sigil of Lucifer. It is what it is. JPG. In the middle of revising my notes on Thursday decide to just run to his house and get it. It starts raining on the way. Get the amulet and put it on, he doesn't know what it is, tell him it's just a Nordic lucky charm or some shit. 
It stops raining on the way home and there's very low traffic. Friday arrives. Strangely calm on my way to uni. Wearing the amulet. Arrive at the classroom, the teacher isn't there. Me and the other group spend most of the class time joking and talking, me sitting on the teacher's chair for most of it. Teacher finally arrives, get off the seat. Her mother-in-law was on critical state, a heart attack, not enough class time left, so the exam is postponed to Monday. Group is still shit. Monday arrives, one of them never shows up. We were supposed to be the first group to go, ended up being last because the retard never even texted or showed signs of life. Go up to in front of class. Strange calm appears again. Spend an entire hour talking and explaining the topic by myself. Not one person in the classroom is looking away, even teacher is on a trance. Had to be stopped because there was no time left and the other prick in my group hadn't even said his part yet get a perfect mark. Had barely studied because of the panic and just made a really good powerpoint. Friends 3D printer a day after. Moral of the story, Lou is pretty helpful Desu. Still use the amulet most of the time, life has improved considerably. Had very brief contact with other entities during that time, but that was the most significant. My father was born in 1924 and as a kid my grandparents owned a crank slash wind up 78 rpm record player, not a kid toy, not a Victrola with the big horn speaker, but Victrola cabinet type. My grandparents had passed away and the house was sold around 1972, I was very young. Family heirloom stuff went to my uncles, the record player over the years eventually made it to my sister's house, about 2010, as an antique display piece in her dining room. Oh. My father had claimed that the record player took a shit in the 1930s when he was a teen, coil spring dicked up and sprung, dad passed away in 1998, mom in 1995. On New Year's Eve around 2015 my sister had a party and at midnight they emotionally toasted my mom and dad, these toasts are typical in my family. As they completed their toast, the Victrola word to life for about 30 seconds and played the 78 record that was set on it. After a moment of realization, they toasted my dad again and thanked him, these type of events are common in my family they pop out of nowhere. Pickroll, same type of player. I've been having on and off odd experiences since 2017. Sorry if my stories are a bit incoherent. I don't green text often. Working at my first job out of college. Have two co-workers, one works next to me, male and the other one works in the other next to our room, female. Around about the start of the year odd occurrences begin to happen. Have conversation with a third co-worker that those two hate. We talk about odd esoteric topics like free will and other topics. The next day my other co-worker attempts to goad me into a conversation about it. She walks into the room and we begin talking about gun control. There was recently a mass shooting so it was in the news. Other co-worker I work in the same room is there. She says something like but he has free will twice in a row almost as if to get me to respond. I don't take the bait but my thoughts begin to race since that topic was what I discussed the other day. This happens multiple times with various other topics. This goes on for so long that I either think they are recording our conversations. I look for a device in the room, the room is small, but find nothing. A few months later I ask the coworker I work in the same room if you ever feel like you're being goaded into conversation. His face gets beat red and he sort of just laughs it off. I have more stories I'll post. I've been holding on to these for a while, another occurrence. Having a hard time at work, same job. Having a hard time sleeping due to the stress wake up and feel as if I'm possessed by something. As I'm waking up I make a comment that maybe I should just game in myself. My surface makes a noise as if to affirm my words. I hop out of bed, once again feeling as if I'm possessed by something, it's me but it's not me, hard to describe the feeling, and get dressed in a hurry. Get in my car and start it. As I start my radio is playing a song called SOS, 
sawed-off shotgun. The song is about a man taking his own life after getting addicted to drugs and losing his job. On the radio info screen is what appears to be the Freemason symbol. I say something like nice try and speed off to work. I go into the inconvenience store next door and it's almost as if something is lifted off of me. Rest of the day I feel like I'm in a haze. One thing I remember about this place was that I would take breaks out on this bench in a plaza. Once I saw a Dodge Charger with a Luciferian symbol on it. Like pick related. 2019. Back to work after a hospital visit. Have a weird feeling or vibe all day long. Can't focus and feel just off. Short of breath and other odd physical phenomena. Make it home. Chilling. Get a message on Facebook that my father is in the hospital. Rush to the hospital. Father had died earlier that day but somehow they didn't have any emergency contact information. One more I guess. Wake up and get ready for work. This was around when COVID started but I was still going in. Have this strange mind state again. Rush to work as fast as I can. Say to myself there are no cops so I can speed. Sure as shit there are no cops so I make it there without a ticket. Rush to my office and play a song. The lines are I can see a crow on your judgment day at the start. Right as the line crow sounds off a crow flies right in front of my window. Don't freak out because for some reason it feels like it's supposed to happen. Rest of the day is just really odd. Make strange predictions and statements that come true. Eventually my mind leaves that state and I'm back to normal. April 2020 start of COVID pandemics. Be me. Talking to, ex-girlfriend at phone. At the window BC I like the wind. Hear five gunshots pa 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 pa. Tire screeching. Got WTF ed. See movement. People that were working at a supermarket nearby went there to say what happened, they probably saw the injured man and called the cops. Guy shot, cops all around. I go downstairs to ask the cops more info. Guy who was shot died, few meters from the front of the apartment I lived. Feels bad to see that shit. Pray in freestyle for the dead man, just for psychological relief I didn't believe in nothing and had no religion. Closed eyes and fought God if you exist let this man rest in peace thank you good night. Days go by. I forgot the event very fast BC pandemics, work, college and relationship. Start to feel something strange at apartment. Constant feeling of someone passing in the corridor. The apartment was like Japanese model kitnet. Small rooms side by side and a corridor, my kitnet was the penultimate of the corridor. One day I saw a shadow of a man passing in front of my window towards the end of the corridor. Didn't hear any noise. Very strange BC in these kitnets you can always hear the neighbors doing whatever. Remember that the neighbor was a girl and I saw the shadow of a man. Thought it was a burglar and grab knife. Heart racing so hard and fast. The veil pumping in my neck was kind of annoying and I could hear my heartbeat very loud. Dead silence, heartbeat. 20 minutes passes and nothing. No noise, no nothing. I decide to open the door to see who is there, because it is getting late and I can't sleep with a thief in the corridor. Deep breath, grab knife, open the door very fast. Blam. See nothing. I didn't see the shadow coming back. End of corridor, nowhere to run, third floor. I might be going crazy WTF. Two days go by. Watching movie on notebook with girlfriend. Door slightly open BC the weather was very good, fresh wind and warm. Go to the fridge to get something to drink. Open the door of the fridge. Hear my girlfriend say a man passed at the door, who is it? Ike, the neighbor is a girl. Girlfriend says but I saw a man. What? Girlfriend says I'm scared, go outside to see who it is please. Went outside. Nobody there again. I didn't tell her that I saw it too a few days before, just pretended that it was her imagination BC I knew she would freak out. I didn't believe in ghost at the time, so it was a kind of a very hard for me. 
I took a long time to process this event. After that and other experiences I started to study more about paranormal and esoteric stuff. I believe that my prayer helped the man somehow and he visited me. I started the green text and realized it was getting way more drawn out and detailed than it needed to be so I'll try to condense things down a bit. Always had musical aptitude. Could pretty much hand me an instrument and I'd figure out how to play it decently in a short time. By mid-teens could play several instruments. Getting into music production. Start experimenting with weed. Love it. Start smoking a lot. Get curious about other substances. Particularly attracted to psychedelics. Still try pretty much anything I can get my hands on. Have a close friend of many years that I trip with. Couple years go by and I'm experienced with many substances. Never had a freak out, always the one who can keep his composure even when I'm majorly messed up. Long story short have a mind breaking trip with same friend one summer. Feel like my entire life was a lie. Friend saying things to make me think he's in on it. Message of trip is stop doing drugs or die essentially. Trip feels evil and messed up. Friend sits between two actual, real doorways in the house. One leads out, it has a blue aura. The other leads into the living room, and it has a red one. Friend says what's it gonna be anon? As if he was aware of the choice I had to make. Blue doorway out meant good, escape from situation, life goes good, etc. Red doorway meant staying, bad, doomed feeling. I flip out mentally but not physically. I basically confront friend in an upset tone about what the hell is going on. Feels Truman Show-esque and he's in on it. In my confusion I pace back and forth between my options several times over. Go out of the house only to go back in, go into the living room. Living room has terrible vibe, impending doom. Worse yet, my friend and others there seem to mock my choice, and every sound and utterance made seems to make me feel bad for my decision to stay. There's more. I keep pacing and eventually decide screw it, I'm leaving. Leave the property. Go out on the road and feel a huge sense of relief. Walk for a second and then come upon a what looks like a force field. Confused as hell. Friend chases me out and goes anon you gotta come back. You're gonna get arrested mind you were in the middle of nowhere. Cops wouldn't be around. Even if they did see me walking home I was coherent, not frantic, speaking clearly and of clear mind besides tripping a bit. I was of age too so they couldn't knock me for curfew. Dealt with cops enough to play it cool if I was messed up. However, friend may have been right regardless. Plus the force field. Go back inside. Feel greatly uncomfortable. Feeling what feels like electric shocks going through my body. Friend and other people there are not comforting, kind of mocking assholes and upset the whole time. Don't even let me play video games to chill out, among other things. Eventually they drive me home at dawn. Thought I was gonna get shot in a field somewhere. They actually bring me home. Pass out for like two days. Wake up and try to make sense of the whole situation. Don't know if it was my bad trip or I was onto something. Seclude myself for a minute. Eventually hang out with same friend with no weed or substances so we're just sober. Tell him what I thought happened. He kind of laughs it off. He is still acting weird. School begins and I'm still broken from the whole experience. Go back and try to be as collected as I can be. This friend I tripped with doesn't go to school. Turns out different friend at school I hung out with took the same substance and had a bizarre experience too we bond over that a bit. He was always mouthing off about strange shit but he seems to have more wisdom, was the idiot of the friend group for a long time. Starts talking about how he sold his soul. I brush it off as him being silly. Still smoke weed occasionally. B18-19 Yomi driving from New Orleans to the North Shore. Drank a little but no big deal, not even drunk. On an off ramp between NOLA and the Twinspan Bridge. Giant black pillar in the middle of the road. Swerve around and go home, don't want to alert anyone because underage drinking. Still no idea what it could have been 
Memory is fuzzy and I don't exactly remember what it looks like. Out driving with my GF during the summer late at night in convertible. Stop in a gravel parking lot miles out in some farmland to talk and make out whatever. There is a very old graveyard nearby known for occult activity. Didn't know at the time that was where we were parked near. Parked for 20 minutes. Suddenly three pickups trucks come barreling into the parking lot and one stops directly in front of us with high beams. Other two trucks pin both exits. I immediately start my car and swerve around. Another truck tries to pin us in. In the haste I didn't turn on my lights. I drive directly through a ditch and somehow didn't even bottom out. Blast through a stop sign and finally noticed my lights were off which definitely helped them not being able to see or chase us. We'll never know what those farmers were up to. Maybe they were going to grape us or maybe they thought we were the occultists as it was very active and even in the news that year. Not a good experience with a new GF. Year is 1960 Southern Californian. In the hills near La Habra before the massive development. My dad and his friend about 12 years old out rabbit hunting very early in the morning. They come over a hill and the dog that was with them stopped in his tracks with fur standing up and low growl. They look up and about 30 feet away is a bright white oval figure with a humanoid presence just floating off the ground. The dog bolts. My dad and his friend drops their guns and sprint the hell out of there. Come back a few hours later to retrieve their stuff. Orb creature is gone. In 2019, my aunt died in a car crash. Mom was given some of her belongings, specifically clothes and her old HP laptop, something old with a broken hinge and Windows XP. She let me have the laptop for spare parts to do whatever, but kept the clothes in a downstairs closet. Start dating Irish redhead in 2021. Summer of 2022, redhead GF is in mom's house poking around. I was at work and she was spending the day finds closet and starts rummaging through clothes. Finds something that catches her eye, a long full green skirt with a belt, and a yellowed old petticoat. Instantly decides to at least try it around the house to see if it fits. Thinks it's cool. Asks mom about it, who seems guarded but lets her. It's not something she'll wear. Came home from work later that day, GF is napping on the couch. Go get mac and cheese to cook. While I eat, suddenly hear a scream from living room, then a loud thump. Find GF on the floor back first, skirts in her face. GF has pissed herself. Claims that she was dragged off the couch by the ankles, and something violently threw the skirts upwards to expose herself. Whatever it was let go as I enter the living room. Help get GF get cleaned up, but she keeps randomly pissing herself and sobbing. MFW she tells me that something is wrong with the aunt's clothes, and she's never wearing them again. MFW she dreamt she was in some desert canyon, and saw a plump black woman running and wearing the same skirts. MFW she feels that the woman wearing it was terrified of something, crying and pissing herself. Told mom when she got back out from a social outing. Instantly clammed up and scolded GF, told us to go home. She refused to say anything. Dad comes to visit me by my place this Christmas. Asks me about how GF is doing. Redhead GF broke up with me over the summer. Topic comes up with haunted skirts she wore. Tells me that both her and mom would see a gangly black figure in the hallway near the closet at times, since they got aunt's clothes. That same night with spooked GF, him and mom had same dream as GF. Mom dumps all of aunt's clothes in the trash next morning. They stop seeing the figure. Parents have no idea what aunt got up to. All of us are white. Saw the ghost of a man in an old house we lived in. Then woke to a young woman standing next to my bed looking down at me. That one still gives me goosebump chills to think about. Aunt and uncle lived on a haunted ranch and had a couple diff spirits. One a young girl. One something mean that pushed my aunt at the top of the stairs once and grabbed her lower legs from the bottom of the bed once too. Saw a crazy forest sprit once on a road trip. 
Occasionally my animal spirit guardians follow me to strange places. Plus a few strange cases of deja vu slash history repeating itself for the first time kind of feelings, one for like a year or so but haven't had that feeling in a minute. I was staying at my previous girlfriend's house. For some reason I woke up in the middle of the night, she was fast asleep. I look over to her side of the bed and there is this black figure of a man standing over her looking at her. I freak out like a pussy and wake her up. The figure disappears. She is obviously scared AF. Few days later we are at her parents house and I tell her mom who was into spiritualism. She said it was probably her recently deceased granddad watching over her. I don't tell her mom or my ex but that figure was had a malevolent aura it gave me such a horrible feeling when I saw it. Few years later I found out her granddad molested her and her cousin. Turns out I saw a pedo ghost. Ite. Lesjuit. V me. 16. Spend time on 973 forum, become a cult fag. Tries ritual and prayer to see spirits like my father. Know that the deceased enjoy gifts, promise wine to the first spirit I interact with. Fast forward, laying in bed. Room dead silent as always, then hear a click. Roll over to look at noise. The most vile, gut-wrenching feeling overwhelms me. Feel something realer than anything else. Its eyes, eyes are staring at me and into my soul but I can't see them, I feel them. And it is violating. Stay in bed frozen, close eyes like a child. Hear female voice, but can't understand what she is saying. It's like she's speaking under a pillow listen closer, and by the way, you owe me some wine. I jump out of bed, yell exuse me? And then screw off, connection severed. Felt her vibe linger around for a while. Eventually brew my own wine and set it out for her. MFW no more creepy vibes. Something of note was her voice, it was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard, but it sounded angry. Gay and poetic, but I remember saying it was like calligraphy covered in thorny vines. 11-ish years old. Planning on running away from home. Intend on living out the next 7 years in the woods till I'm an adult. Wait till late at night after my mom and stepdad are asleep. Head downstairs with backpack full of essentials. Pit stop in kitchen for one last cup of coffee in civilization. Make coffee, drink. It's cold. Weird, I just made it. Finish put mug in sink, go to front door. The second I touch the doorknob the noise starts. Like someone pounding on dozens of different surfaces at once, stone, metal, skin, and a whistling sound like a strong wing. No discernible source. Burning feeling in stomach hearing the noise. Run back upstairs cover ears and hum. Sounds continue for what feels like hours. Fall asleep at some point. Wake up, everything normal. Mug still in the sink. <laughs>